Everybody, Jay and Mannion here at the MPC Photo Gym and here for his very first time doing his road to the Olympia is... Martin Fitzwater. Okay, it's Fitzwater, not Fitzgerald or whatever. Yeah. Tarek, I'll yeah. get you. Yeah, right. Tarek, Tarek was trying to give me a new last name, but it's definitely <laughs> Fitzwater. <laughs> All right. That's on your birth certificate, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Water. Fitzwater. Okay. Remember that, Tarek. I'm going to clip that and send it to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Martin, how you feeling going into this Olympia, man? Honestly, it's been the best prep of my life. So before this, it was New York was the best prep of my life. Everything just clicking, going well, training with my best friend, having fun. And honestly, there's been no stress going into this. So as much as there's been some talk of how well I can do and what I'm capable of, I'm just having fun, enjoying bodybuilding, doing it with my best friend. And because of that, all the things are clicking. So I'm really happy with the progressions I've made from New York. And really, that's all we can do. You know, bodybuilding is it's a marathon not a sprint and uh what we did is we took the feedback and we did exactly that i got a bigger chest a little better arms posing is better um so i'm really excited to get some feedback today and then we have some time to be able to make a little bit of adjustments and really come in at my best that i've ever been on stage which if there's any stage to do it this is the one to do it so super excited and honestly just grateful for the opportunity it's crazy to think that just a couple years ago i was a kid here winning a pro card in pittsburgh and now i'm in a tent <laughs> in, a, in a tent in 2020 yes yeah. Yes, yeah, so uh, it was a it's a COVID a COVID year, and it was a wild one, and and now to be in in here in Pittsburgh, back kind of in the in home for me, and and to be doing this is something unreal. You know, I watched the Road to the Olympia videos of Branch and Jay and Sean Ray as a kid the whole time I've been growing up. So to be able to do this and say that I'm doing it and living my dream is uh it's kind of surreal, honestly. So first time here, seeing the gym and everything, was it what you expected? Because I know a lot of people said they see bits and pieces of it, but you never see the whole thing. So you don't really know how big it actually is. Yeah, honestly, it's a lot bigger than I expected. So I was expecting a little bit of like, a few offices and then a small a private gym like a lot of people have that's more built towards photo shoots this is a full-out gym this is a private facility that something like i would love to have as my own self as a bodybuilder so not only do they have awesome equipment we've we're seeing some new tech sounds like some new panada stuff is coming obviously the old great hammer strength stuff but then the the actual building itself with uh the clothing the offices this place is ginormous so from the outside looking in it looks Looks like a much smaller building but uh you can see the woodworks to something even bigger here so it's uh the ground and the framework to watch this thing even get even bigger which is exciting and to see yeah, it is very deceiving from the front yeah yeah no when we pulled up i'm like oh this is a nice little spot and then <laughs> then when we walked through the door i was like oh this isn't a little spot this is a big spot so really cool and like i said the gym is awesome i feel like it's about the perfect square footage especially for something like this where you want an intimate environment you don't want something too big and too big of ceilings and stuff like that because um, you really want to be able to capture the athlete and what they're doing here. So, so technically, though, the, the gym is made for photo shoots, just like this room, because that's why everything's painted white. Yes. The lighting in there is absolutely crazy. So um, it seems like everywhere that you stand, you can see yourself in a mirror. Um, every machine that you train on, you can look at yourself and watch your form and stuff like that, as well as everything is well lit. I know I have my cameraman here with me and he was just telling me like, it doesn't matter where you pose, you look awesome. So it's a, it's a really great gym for that. It's obviously set up by somebody that knows how to take photos. Um, the other cool thing that we noticed is no matter where you stand, you will either see the IFBB logo or the MPC logo in the background somewhere because they're on the wall. And uh, that's kind of something that like a lot of people don't know those finer details, but especially with us really trying to push social media and understand marketing, um, those things really matter. So those finer details here, you can see that everybody's putting in the work to make sure. It's there right. was a rhyme to the reason of why they are placed where they are. I, I believe that 100%. Yeah, they came. They were put up after the mirrors were up. Yeah. No, it makes sense for sure. Like we said, it doesn't matter where you stand. Um, you're going to get one of those in the background, which is cool. And that's that's what you should do as a company that's marketing your brand and stuff is to have your stuff all over the place, as well as it's just a good environment. You know, we came in here and the boss man himself, Jim, was training. Um, so it's just it's it's a great environment. And you can feel the bodybuilding here. You can feel that it has history. Even though the gym is new, you can feel the equipment the pictures all that stuff is well, that equipment came from the old man's gym a lot of it exactly. especially the uh, hammer 
Yeah, exactly. So you can you can feel that there's history here, even though the building is new. Um, the gym is definitely nostalgic, and there's there's a lot of history here. I can tell. see the history on those pictures too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's really cool to see the pictures of Jim, kind of throughout his reign and and growing in bodybuilding. His posing picture. You see pictures of him doing bodybuilding all the way through to pictures with The Rock and and now where he is now as the boss man. So it's really cool, and honestly, it's just a part of bodybuilding. That that a lot of people don't know about and need to get to see the history more of. So this is a really cool opportunity for me to get to enjoy it all and soak it all in. So I'm just going to say this. So those of you that I reach out for for Road to the Olympia and you don't get back to me, you're missing out. That's all I got to say. 1000%. Now, this is an opportunity that I think as an athlete um, is one you don't want to miss. You know, there's there's things as an athlete, obviously, when we get close to shows and stuff, um, you kind of mark those off the list as something you don't want to do and it's not worth traveling. Um, but Pittsburgh One is very bodybuilding community. We can get everything you need here. Um, there's great gyms. Obviously, we have a place to train. And you guys take great care of us out here. But not only that, um, it's just something that not everybody gets to do. You know, you, you might never get to compete in another Olympia again, or you might never have the opportunity to bodybuild again. And so when you get the opportunity, when you guys ask us to come out, I'm always going to say yes. Uh, I love this sport so much. And so to, just to be a part of it and be able to have any opportunity like this, I'm going to take it. Part of the thing is to have for you to have a good day here. Yeah, no, I mean, and it has been. So we came in yesterday and it's been so cool. It's like uh, <laughs> the anticipation, honestly, was building from the second we got on the plane yesterday, all day today to be able to get here, see the gym, kind of just soak it all in and then obviously get some feedback from you guys. So it's a, it's just something that you have to do, I think, as a bodybuilder. You know, you earn this right to go to the Olympia. Why not express it and get to show it off? All right. So speaking of the Olympia, have you done anything else differently preparing for this show? Um, so we've pushed a little bit harder with the diet because my we got to grow a slight bit between New York and now. Um, so we've been able to dig in a little deeper, if you will. Uh, but necessarily, it's been pretty much the same. Training's been the same. Uh, Brett and I, if you guys know, we just we push each other to the absolute max. And we're like the Johnny and Branch of this generation, if you will. So we're just having fun, kicking each other's butt, and just really enjoying bodybuilding at its fullest. You know, diet's the same um you know macros wise and stuff like that and really it's just building off of what we already had so we were very happy with the package in new york and then it was just making small finer adjustments um we did add a little bit ch of chest and arm training volume but otherwise it's been pretty much the same because we really liked what we brought to new york and all we can do is improve from that so all right is there anybody you want to give a shout out to right here um, honestly, I have a, a whole team, a whole group of people, but Alexis, obviously my significant other, she's been the best thing for me and keeps my head on straight as well as keeps our home life perfect. So big shout out to her. I got my man behind the camera over here. His name's Jake. And he's honestly the reason that I have a social media because I don't, I don't <laughs> love doing it. Uh, so he's the man that, that makes it all happen for you guys. And then obviously, Seriously, you're not, you're not posting in between sets. No, nah, that's not me, man. That's a, he, he He's running it half the stories you guys see he's the one posting it and everything and then my training partner back home brett so um him and his little family he's got a, a beautiful wife and a beautiful daughter and they've been they've been a huge part of my family not only did i live with them for a period of time before i won had my first win in detroit um but they're just they're a huge part of my family you know every day i get to go over 15 20 minutes early spend time with brett's daughter she's about the best thing that's ever happened to all of us and 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 I just have a really cool group of people around me right now. I, I enjoy my life so much. And um, when this video comes out, um, the, the last one will be hostile. So I just signed with them. We'll be announcing it this Friday. And uh, very thankful for the opportunity that's going to come with them. I think we're going to do some really big things as well as we'll see a lot of new things and hopefully be able to bring a new light to bodybuilding. Um, one of the things that I really feel like I can do in the next couple years is take the influencer role and be the professional bodybuilder at the top to where we can bring more people to the sport. I really love this sport and I think that it needs to be shared across the world. All right. That sounds good. So listen, if you want to see Martin going for the Olympia, get your tickets. I think one part of it's sold out. Even if you can just get to the prejudging, it's still something to see. If not, 
you can pre-order that pay-per-view at olympiaproductions.com and you could do it that way but it's so much better in person you get to meet the olympians the press conference everything there you don't want to miss it guys you know we'll have the meet and greet you definitely get to take pictures shake hands meet all of us guys that are doing this and girls that are doing this and honestly like it's one of the coolest experiences i've ever had as a fan going to the olympia um so i'm super excited to experience it as an athlete as well as this is the 60th one. This one's going to be a big bang, and I plan to bring a special package. So if you're a big fan of me um, and you're excited to see what I'm going to bring, I plan to bring the best package I've ever brought. So hopefully we see you there. All right, perfect way to wind it up. So J.M. Mannion. Martin Fitzwater. Signing out for NBC News Online.com. We look forward to seeing you at the Olympia.